So welcome to the second part of lecture 36. So what we left off last time is we had a Markov chain. And uh, we know that from last class, when you have a dynamical system, you can sometimes find out what happens to vectors in the long term if you take advantage of diagonalization. But what we're going to do here is we're actually going to show a different way of getting the exact same answer by using the fact that we now have additional information about the matrix that's doing the transition. And the, the additional fact is that we have a stochastic matrix. Okay. So now we kind of know what the answer is, right? We know what the answer is. But let's say something a little bit more about this vector. Here is the matrix, again, that's kind of capturing how people are moving between Earth and Mars. And if we multiply it by this vector that it approaches by, if you do that, what you'll find is that you get the same vector back. You will get 0 0.375 and the vector 0 0.625. OK, so what's uh, what's does this actually make sense? First of all, let's think about what is the meaning of this sense. Well, this actually makes sense, right? Because this is a uh, equilibrium for the immigration. Makes sense, right? Because this is an equilibrium for the migration. So once you kind of reach this proportion between the two planets, any given year, you're just actually going to keep this proportion year after year. But there's actually something interesting also that this equation here implies, right? This equation here implies that one is an eigenvalue, right? So it implies lambda equals one is an eigenvalue. And not only that, we're getting the fact that this vector here 0 0.625 is the associated eigenvector that is also a probability vector. So the vector that we're finding it, with respect to the diagonalization approach, it seems to have something nice happening to it. It has an eigenvalue, a com it, gives, it implies that there's an eigenvalue of one, and it implies that the vector that we're kind of approaching is an eigenvector of that value one. And not only that, it has the additional property of being a probability vector, the sum of the two entries sum up to one. So is this something special going on or just kind of a artifact of the very special example that I have? And it turns out that this is actually a property of stochastic matrices, right? If P is a stochastic matrix, then lambda equals one is an eigenvalue. And so this is actually one of the few places that there's a difference between the fifth edition and the sixth edition in that the uh, sixth edition contains a proof of this, but the fifth edition doesn't. And so I'm just actually gonna go through the proof about why it's true. So why is this true? Well, first of all, because P is a stochastic matrix, we know that the col each column of P sums to one. So it, that means that the rows of P transpose sum to one, right? Because if, if the, when we take the transpose, we're switching rows and columns around. So the rows sum to one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let E be the vector of all ones, one, 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 one. Okay, then, oh, I don't know if I have enough space here, so let's go over here. Then PT times the vector E is just going to be equal to E. Okay, so it may not be clear about why this is true, but let's do a, kind of an example in, in our proof to kind of see this, right? So if we use our matrix from our, uh, immigra our migration uh, example, if we take this matrix right here, the P transpose is what we get when we swap rows and columns around. Oh, that should be a three. 0.97. And now when I take PT times the vector 1, 1, what this means is that I'm now summing up along the first row and I'm summing up along the second row. 
And so because of the fact that P is the transpose of the stochastic matrix, I will get 1, 1. So what we're just doing is kind of generalizing this example right here to get that uh, and to get that E is a solution to the system. So we're almost there because what we have is the following fact. That so lambda equals one is an eigenvalue of P transpose. Okay. okay, but that's not really what we wanted to do, right? Because what we wanted to show that lambda equals one is an eigenvalue of P, not its transpose. So the question is how are eigenvalues of a matrix related to its transpose? Well, we wanna make some observations. And one observation is that PT minus lambda I N is the exact same thing as P minus lambda I N and then taking the transpose of that uh, matrix. And it's because this matrix in, that you're subtracting is a diagonal matrix. So when you're taking the diagonal here, you're not actually changing the matrix inside. So what happens here is that we have that the determinant of P lambda I N is equal to the determinant of P minus lambda I N transpose. Here we're using the fact, right, that the, uh, the determinant of a matrix is the same as the determinant of its transpose. So this is something way back from chapter two. We're kind of getting a lot of the info. So today's lecture is kind of nice because we're using lots of different things from different parts of the course. So this is the fact that determinants of matrices and its transposes are the same. And then we can use the fact that we have this identity that this is the same thing as the determinant of P transpose uh, lambda minus I N. So when we look at this, this means that P and P T will have the same eigenvalues because they have the same characteristic equation. So P and P transpose have same eigenvalues, and so lambda equals one is an eigenvalue of P because lambda equals one is an eigenvalue of P transpose. So it's a pretty nice result. And as I mentioned before, uh, you won't find the proof of this in the fifth edition, but you will find a proof of this in the sixth edition. So it's a very nice result about stochastic matrices. And this fact that lambda equals one is always an eigenvalue of a stochastic matrix is a property that we're going to use in the next part of today's lecture. So I'll pause here and get set up for the next part.